Hi, I'm Margaret. In this video, I'm going to show you that you can create a Java program outside of an IDE, that you can run it and compile it in the command window. And uh, we are also going to use some command line arguments that we are going to pass to the program. So let's start here. You can see I'm in C temp and I have an empty directory. We're going to change this. I'm going to open my Notepad++ and I'm going to create a new Java program right here. It's public class, I call it test and it includes my main method public static void main string array args and all it does it has a simple print statement so it says system out print line that works and I'm going to save it right here in temp I make sure I save it with a Java extension and I call my file test because this is my class name so that has to match and now you can see here I have test.java now I'm going to my directory and I can see test.java now we're going to compile the Java file I'm going to call the compiler with Java C that's the Java compiler and I'm going to pass test.java and now it takes a moment I'm back here checking you can see a test.class file got created this includes the byte code at this point let's see whether we can open that in notepad that would be actually nice You can notice some of the words, for example, we can see main here and we can see Java Lang here, print line, so, so there are a couple, couple words that are distinguishable, but it's obviously not meant to be read by humans. So I'm going to close it again. I'm going to run the program now. I say Java and test. Notice I don't say test.class, I only say Java test. And now my test.class file is used to run my program and it says that works, which is great. Now I want to modify my program. I'm going back into my program, open it up again in my Notepad++ and this time I want to take advantage of my string array that I have as a parameter to main. And I'm going to assume it in my args variable includes uh, some strings so here I use a for each loop I say for each string element in args we're going to do something let's say we just print whatever we have so here we print line and we're printing all those elements line by line I could even have a header I could say system out print line command line arguments Oops. there we go and at this point I save and when I go back to my directory I can see there is a difference in my time so my class file my bytecode is outdated so I have to compile again I say Java C test Java and now when I check, I can see my time matches nicely again. I'm ready to run my program. If I would just say Java test like I did before, it tells me command line arguments, but there's nothing there. There is nothing there because we didn't pass any arguments. So the array was empty. And I'm trying it again. I say Java test, but this time I'm going to pass some strings. I could say red green blue yellow oops yellow there we go and you can see command line arguments red green blue yellow whatever i passed after my class name 
was interpreted as a command line argument and it was read in as a string and I accessed it in my main method as an element of my string array. Notice, this is one of the rare exceptions where I can define strings in Java without using the double quote. So here I'm just passing words. Whatever I pass is interpreted as a string. No double quotes, also no comma. Usually when I have a var arc situation where I pass a variable amount of arguments or maybe an array initializer where I pass a certain number of elements to an array, I have the elements separated by a comma here. I just have my elements separated by blank, no double quotes, and it gets accepted in a string array. But in the main method, I'm accessing whatever I passed here as my command line argument through arcs, through my array arcs, which is an array of strings. So each of the elements passed was interpreted as a string. Now there's one more thing I want to show you, and this is how you can use command line arguments from the IDE. So I'm going here to temp, test Java. Now here's our program. If I want to add some command line arguments, I go to build and I select the run arguments checkbox. Notice it opens up a text field right here and I can enter some words. No double quotes, no commas, just words. And I'm going to compile and run. You can see how it accepted all my different words. No double quotes, no commas, just words. Let's say I want to pass something else, not just strings. Let's say I would like to pass some numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8. And I would like to use those numbers to add them up to a sum. I could do that too. I could say here first my new title, calculating sum. And then inside my loop, I would be parsing my elements and adding them up to variables. So let's create a variable first. I call it sum. I initialize it with zero. And now here inside my loop, I'm increasing my sum. I'm adding all those elements. I say integer parse int for each of my elements. And now at the end, I'm printing out the results. So I say system out print line. For example, sum is my sum. Let's compile, run, sum is 20 and if we add them up 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, we can convince ourselves that this is a good result.